SEC pays out millions in latest whistleblower award. So all of those that are breaking the rules, the SEC could be coming after you. The SEC awarded more than $10 million to a whistleblower. The details are slight, but the numbers are impressive. The SEC said on October 31st that it had awarded more than $10 million to a whistleblower who provided information and assistance that significantly contributed to a successful enforcement action. The SEC needs to open their eyes to what we've been talking about all along. We have been calling out those who have been playing in the gray area for far, far too long. Can't wait to see what happens here. Sign World Regal's parent company has only $4 million of cash on hand and $5 billion in debt. How can they pay $1.24 billion CDN judgment to Signplex? Under appeal right now, can AMC acquire theaters for cheap from Regal? Merge with Signplex Control North America. And keep in mind, Signplex Control, 75% of Canadian theaters, would love to see a partnership with AMC. So guys, those are also 2019 numbers, keep in mind. But either way, if AMC is able to acquire more and more theaters and keep on taking over and monopolize the entire industry, every theater that anyone goes to across the world is a high-quality, branded AMC theater. Now, that is a world that I would love to live in. Five investors betting big on AMC stock and why you should invest. Check this out, guys. So it says five investors betting big on AMC stock. You might be surprised to learn that 28.4% of AMC stock Shares are held by institutions. Furthermore, the list of institutional investors as of June 29th, 2022, which is basically sometime in the summer, include the names of very familiar big, big institutions. Check out this list here. Vanguard, 95.18 million AMC shares, which comprises of 18.42% of the outstanding shares, the entire company. BlackRock has 51.77 million shares, or 10.02% of the outstanding shares. State Street has 20.53 million AMC shares, which equates to nearly 4% of the outstanding shares. Goldman Sachs, 5.98 million, or 1.16 of AMC, and Bank of America, 5.42 million, which translates to just over 1% of the company's outstanding shares. So if you think that you've been holding on to a large amount of AMC shares, just look at the amount of shares that are still being held by these large institutions. Now I get it, a lot of you guys are going to say, well, yeah, these institutions buy the shares to then to then basically borrow them out and earn a borrow fee. And that very might well be true. But still, realize right here the number of overall institutional ownership with AMC and how it's still very relatively high. AMC stock. The hedge funds losing people's money to continue to play a bad bet is hilarious. But we are dumb money for holding and not selling, right? They really believe they can F American citizens over and we'll just give up. But, but we know the outcome and it's them covering at some point or another. 